Hello, my sweets. Welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen. Thank you so much for watching. How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing good in Virginia. I'm enjoying my nice, cool breeze, summer weather. It's been cool, but it's been nice. So to get into our DIY, I first wanted to show you this. My wonderful husband gifted me this beautiful candle holder for our 21st anniversary I thought it was really really sweet of him and it's beautiful and I wanted to uh, show you guys how you can create your own or something similar so uh, you're gonna need a vase of some kind this is a really hard container that I had in the house um, and so I'm gonna be using that I also found a while back these Sola S O L A Sola wood flowers I found them at Ross for six dollars they're really really beautiful and so basically, as you can see, uh, my container um, or my vase or whatever you want to call it, I turned it upside down. So that's what you want to do. You want to turn it upside down. And now you want to go ahead and arrange your flowers, however, uh, which way you want or whatever pattern. So I did see someone haul recently uh, that Dollar Tree is now carrying their version of the Sola flowers. You really don't get much in a pack. Um, they're nice, but they're not as pretty as these, um, but they are solo wood flowers. So if you see them, I think they're fairly new to Dollar Tree. Nonetheless, I will link these down for you guys below in my Amazon store. Should you be interested in purchasing some because they really are beautiful. These are big and beautiful and, um, I love them. They're kind of like potpourri too. You can spritz them with things and put them in a vase and that sort of thing. So that's what that's looking like so far. As you can see, I have some gaps and I didn't have um, any more flowers. So I took some Dollar Tree flowers. I'm using its leaves. And I think I just ended up using one rose from the Dollar Tree to, you know, fill in a gap somewhere in there. But yeah, I'm just going all around. And I'm once I'm done here, I'm going to spray paint everything in silver. So that's what that's looking like and so now I'm going to be using my gems um, just to kind of embellish my little piece there and give it that little extra something and basically I am just placing my little diamonds on the center of each flower now the one that my husband got me also comes in other versions um, like gold and it's um, and the company also creates seasonal ones so I will link it down for you guys in case you're interested in the original one but that's what this is looking like I did go ahead and now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in some of the gaps with those acrylic diamonds as well as as I'm showing you here guys don't forget to give me those thumbs up if you're enjoying this video so far nothing's gonna let me know that you want more videos from me uh, if I don't see those thumbs up, then that just means that I should quit YouTube. No, I'm just kidding, but <laughs> if you want to keep me motivated and you want me to bring you more content, please give me those thumbs up. So now I just grabbed some of this uh, glitter washable glue from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just kind of brush it on all over. I just wanted to give it that extra shimmer. Uh, but actually off camera, I did go ahead and use actual silver glitter and with some adhesive glue spray they can also get the Dollar Tree I spritz it around and I sprinkle some of the um, glitter and finally now I just grab one of those round Dollar Tree mirrors and I use the backing for more support and I place it there in the middle so moving on to our next DIY uh, the Dollar Tree is now carrying these kind of they're kind of like a snow globe if you will um, photo frames and you can really find these I've seen so far in like the graduation section of Dollar Tree right now I think they're stacking them up there again in the graduation where you know where all the graduation stuff now that the kids are graduating they have them there and so it's really easy to pop that back piece out and so that's your template um, for whatever you want to place back there a photo of your family or like in this case of course my Chanel I went ahead and printed this out on photo paper um, just to give you an idea that you can uh, do absolutely anything here I'm just showing this is some decorative beautiful tissue paper and you know whatever you do back there you don't have to do it perma permanently in case you want to switch it out um, but you can use um, anything that you have so 
So just to give you an example, this is how mine turned out. And if you don't know what I'm creating, I forgot to tell you, I am creating some coasters. Yes, I'm gonna repurpose these and I'm not gonna use them as photo frames. I'm going to use them as coasters. Now here I have this iridescent, beautiful rhinestone ribbon that you've seen me use in my previous video. And then this is just a regular, regular silver diamond one. And I will link both of these in my Amazon store in case you're interested. I know a lot of you have purchased them already uh, because it is just so beautiful. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them. And I'm just gonna glue them along the edges. Now, uh, another alternative, this is where you would place your picture, of course, but in my case, I went and used my favorite glue, my Elmer's clear glue that you've seen me use in my previous video, and I'm going to use my crushed diamond um, glitter. Why not? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go you don't have to do this is just what I'm doing and so I'm using a generous amount of the glue and I'm placing the glitter there and now you can put the back in place again and my it, because this glitter is chunky kind of wouldn't let me put the the uh, cover back on and that's fine because once it was dry I went ahead with the glue and I sealed it that way and then you want to allow it to dry for at least 48 hours and then it's not gonna go anywhere here I'm using this beautiful diamond ribbon. I will link this down for you guys below. You've seen me use this in my previous video and I'm just kind of giving that extra look there. And this is how everything turned out, you guys. This is the um, beautiful flower uh, candle centerpiece that I created. I hope you guys really like it. I This is absolutely gorgeous. I can see this being used maybe as a you know, centerpiece for a wedding. Um, of some kind an anniversary such as in this case <laughs> so I really do hope that you like it and again I'm gonna link these flowers for you guys down below and let me know if you're gonna recreate this are you gonna do it in silver are you gonna do it in rose gold are you gonna do it in gold let me know if you're gonna do this but I think it's gorgeous I really want to know what you guys think about this and then coming right up I'm going to show you what my um, coasters how they turned out I thought this was different, not your typical coaster. I think it was it would be a fun thing when the girls come over, you're having some wine and watching a movie or something, and you can just use these nice coasters. And again, you can customize them over and over again. If you're wondering about that bottle, I did do it off camera. I just kind of went crazy with the crushed glass and the glitter and the rhinestones. I just did my thing, and I think it turned out really nice. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this too. Let me know how you would customize this to your taste and your home decor. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me those thumbs up. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.